Acer has entered the DDR4 market with their Predator Apollo RGB gaming memory. And we're looking at a low latency 3600 kit today. When I hear the name Acer Predator, I immediately think of Acer's pre-built gaming systems like this one, currently found on Acer's online storefront. And when I think of Predator memory, my mind goes back to the first review I ever published here at PC Perspective, which was terrible, and it showcased very tall Predator DDR3 modules that were made by HyperX, which at that time was still part of Kingston. Fast forward to present day, and HyperX is now owned by HP, Kingston's overclocked gaming brand is called Fury, and Predator is the gaming memory brand from Acer, which hasn't previously sold RAM outside of its pre-built systems, as far as I know. The world is an odd place, particularly the last couple of years, and in the PC gaming space, there just aren't very many happy component upgrade stories when graphics cards are basically unavailable unless you want to pay double the MSRP. Unless Kyle was right and MSRP is dead. All of this was leading to the subject of today's video, which is Acer's new Predator Apollo RGB DDR4 memory. And while on the face of it, there isn't anything remarkable about DDR4 RAM, other than this being Acer's entry into the market, there's more to the story with this particular kit. Our Predator Apollo sample is a 16 gigabyte kit at 3600 megatransfers per second. Timings are 14, 15, 15, 35 at 1.45 volts. Features include the high quality Samsung ICs on a 10 layer PCB with gold contacts, thick aluminum heatsink, and a lifetime warranty. If you're interested in memory enough to be familiar with the differences between the various chips they're built with, you'll most assuredly be aware of the legendary Samsung B die. ICs. Acer is clearly serious about performance as their very first product sports these coveted chips, though I can only speak for the 3600 megatransfers per second kit we have on hand, as other speeds may use different ICs. One of the defining characteristics of Samsung B die memory is its low latency. At 1800 MHz, which is 3600 effective as its double data rate, most correctly expressed as 3600 megatransfers per second, most gaming memory kits have a cast latency of 18. If you want lower latency and higher performance, CL16 kits are also widely available. But for the absolute best performance at 3600, kits with a very low latency of just 14 are also available. This is one of them. Acer, of all brands, has matched the speed and extremely tight timings of the G-Skill Trident Z Neo kit we reviewed last year. Unsurprisingly, both use Samsung b die ICs. I was going to offer some new performance charts comparing this Acer Apollo memory to higher latency DDR4-3600 and slower DDR4-3200 memory, but after running some initial tests, I found that this Acer kit is essentially identical to the Trident Z Neo, as you can see here. For some speed comparisons, you can check out that Neo review, but I think it's safe to say that the only real difference in performance between these kits comes down to capacity, which is 16 gigabytes with the Acer and 32 with the G-Skill. I'll also add that DDR4-3600 is essential for getting the most out of your AMD Ryzen processor, as this speed allows your CPU to run with an F-Clock of 1800, increasing overall system performance, not just memory speed. Currently, the Acer Predator Apollo RGB 16GB kit we looked at today, which is Acer product number BL.9BWWR.253, never change Acer is $164.99 on Amazon. This is a premium price, even for CL14 memory at this speed. I actually found that HP, of all brands, offers a kit with Samsung BDI ICs and tighter timings, 14, 14, 14, 34, for $149.99. But if pricing is the only complaint, the market will eventually offer a correction. At least, I hope so. This Acer Apollo kit is otherwise outstanding, and I am very impressed that they went with Samsung B-Die memory. I wouldn't be surprised if we see the price drop in the near future, just as we did with Lexar's entry into the DDR4 market last year. I hope memory kits like this continue to become more affordable and widely available as we near the end of the DDR4 life cycle. <laughs>